Yo, what's happening everyone? It's your boy here, Abdurrahim, back again with another great, amazing graphics design tutorial. And the graphics design tutorial of today, it's all about some new features, which is going to be upcoming one. It's like one main feature, which is going to be upcoming one on October. I guess on October, Adobe announced that we're going to have a sky feature, which that kind of sky feature, it's going to be a plugin, which you're going to change on your backgrounds whenever you're taking photography. So this is actually for photographers and i can look it in another way it's actually for designers who like to have different perspective throughout playing with the sky or having that kind of great and amazing moment of manipulation of your designs so for further ado further talking let's jump in on adobe uh channel so as we can see what's happening so um before we get started on this kind of amazing sneak peek as you can see guys if you want to watch this full video but entirely i'm going to just give you guys heads to heads what's going on so as you can see guys we're gonna play it's going to be faster and easier than ever before. just like that check it out how much the sky has changed from the first glance just check it out we're gonna roll back a few frames back be faster and easier than ever before to create more dynamic images by swapping in a Wait a minute. It's that. going to be faster and easier Dope. than ever before to create more. Now, guess what? Adobe was going to throw that kind of new plugin, but let me just dynamic keep on Dynamic images the by video. swapping in a dramatic sky. Jump into the new sky replacement feature. So, I guess on this kind of feature, it will be on the edit button, whereby it will be the sky replacement, which is so dope from Adobe. Instead of we designers sometimes have to go here and there throughout changing the sky masking a lot of things erasing a lot of things i guess this is a more heads up on using this kind of feature choose the sky to change the mood nice just glance over the presets provided Ooh, there's some really good ones in there that's dope when you click on a sky preset the image is instantly updated nice it's easy to see your options with a resizable thumbnail preview. And tooltips show the file name and the file dimensions. That's dope. Go for one of your own yeah, files. Man. It'll be added to this configurable menu of images. So I guess you're going to save this kind of preset whenever you're using them or you want to just reuse them. You're going to save them. I guess even you can import um these kind of backgrounds you can download online cloudsy cloud not cloudsy but clouds i was like what's happening here but it's cloud so you can download them online and use them you can create reorder or delete these folders move the thumbnails around arrange them any way you nice. like so i uh, guess there's gonna be some arrangement you're gonna arrange and trick around on these kind of clouds a favorite your most recently used sky images appear at the top. Dope. So whenever you're using this kind of sky images or uh, the clouds and stuff on the sky, all of them, if you're keeping on using them, they stay on the reason. Photoshop knows the difference between the foreground and the sky. So it's like Photoshop detects automatically using, I guess this is a logarithm method, whereby it detects that there is a background and it detects there is a subject. So as you can see, this is our subject here and there is a background, it detects. And you can see entirely, let me just maximize my full screen. You can see entirely, it it's it's there. There's no any blurry, there's no any, any kind of blurry stuff. But you can see on this kind of segment here, come on, somewhere here, there's something here. I guess so. But to be honest, I guess it's more pushing throughout Photoshop what they're doing. Adobe Sensei powered machine learning models do the heavy lifting. So they're using machine learning, which is perfect. Of masking and blending. And they use cutting edge algorithms to harmonize the foreground of your image with. So there's a cutting edge algorithm. I know some of you guys don't know about this, but let me be honest. The cutting edge algorithm and the machine learning, these are like a logarithm which are made whereby whenever like sometimes you're scaling on your image or doing this and that, the resolution stays at proportion so you won't get any distortion on your on your image or on your cloudy uh, background which you're having so you can say it anything you want the sky so your whole shot has the warmth of that golden hour sunset and check it out how much the subject it attracts throughout that kind of uh, background which you're selecting for the cloudy which i it's it's playing with the temperature there which is something which is so great I mean, I'm, 
you know, I'm so hyped with this Let's feature. zoom in to look at the details on this. So we're zooming in to see the details, which is perfect. Nice. Check this out. I'm resizing the sky image, then using the move tool with the simple and familiar click and drag to adjust it exactly where I want it. It changes with the temperature, which is so convenient. Instead of having that kind of normal background, you see how much it changes the temperature and conditioning of your subject, which is perfect, which sometimes we designers or photographers, we need to change that and blend with your skin. If it's your, it's your subject who is uh, you're photographing, you want that kind of mood to change with your skin tone or the environment surrounding you, which is quite impressive. The lighting and color change to match the visible part of the sky. See the foreground change when I use different areas of the sunset? Nice. The entire image is matched to these cool blue tones. When I move the sky to show the yellow sun, the entire image is now automatically matched to these warm tones. Perfect. There are some powerful controls in the dialogue to help you get the look you want. What's the most powerful part of this feature? the full force of Photoshop that's preserved with every layer, mask, and non-destructive adjustment. So it generates its own kind of layers automatically. So as you can have that kind of adjustment, which by your own self, if you are doing it, that means you'll be having plenty of layers. Let's be honest, plenty of layers, plenty of masking, which is quite no bad, but it does, the algorithm does for you everything. The AI does for you everything in an easy way, which we were actually thinking it's impossible. Just impossible because if you're doing it by your own self, there's uh, always human errors, which you might be slightly uh, getting something different somewhere. But let's be honest, doing it perfectly by using the algorithm, it's a game change. Let me be honest, this is a game change. Innovative, intuitive, and intelligent. Perfect. And it's all coming soon to Adobe Photoshop. So joining this kind of uh, new update is to be on October 23rd. And it's going to be so awesome for Adobe rolling out this kind of new update. And I'm so pumped. I can't wait just to put my hands on it because it's going to be so much great and so much amazing. Let's be honest, having this kind of update right now, it's really a game changer for photographers, for the people who still, they want that kind of new feature from Photoshop. I guess we're going to see bunch and bunch of new features. Not only this, but spoiler alert, stay tuned. And I'm going to share with you guys all those kind of walkway through uh, this kind of update. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed on this kind of amazing uh, sky replacement. I know this is just one feature from Adobe, but it's a really kind of game change for photographer and designers. And it's really kind of worth it for the people who still take those kind of great and amazing shots still. And um, it's so much awesome. Let me be honest, it's so much awesome. And yeah, that's what's up. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to your homeboy here. I really, really appreciate on that. And last but not least, I guess I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. As always, stay sharp and creative and kudos. Peace.